So we have just left the lovely Deirdre and Owen's house who have let us very kindly stay with them for part of our stay in Belfast where Jasper was camping um, although last night he got to sleep in the house thank you very much and we are heading back to Belfast International Airport to drop Jas off because he's going home his time in Northern Ireland is done it's been amazing he's had a great time and thank you and, and also Chris is growing a little long goatee what do you reckon I think he should grow it get some beads yeah, maybe make it go purple Chris says maybe he should shave it off no let us know what you think anyway today we're heading we're driving back towards uh, just north of Galway um, to continue the Wild Atlantic Way from where we left off and it's another beautiful sunny day in Ireland <sighs> <laughs> we met some lovely people last night, our neighbours for the night, who have helpfully given us the right <laughs> pronunciation of where we are and where we're going. So, so we're in Spiddle. And let's cut in their version. Where are we now? We're in Spiddle. 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 Spiddle in English. Spiddle. 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 Spiddle in Irish. Beautiful. Okay. We're in Spiddle. Spiddle. Yeah, and we're going to Linan. Linan. And where's that? Linan. Because that's where we're going. Linan. 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 That's a lovely yeah. drive up here, up, up to Linan. There you go. So we drove down yesterday uh, from Galway. Mm. Uh, actually, no, we didn't drive no, we didn't. Galway at all. We drove down yesterday. We drove down yesterday from Belfast. Um, it was quite a long drive, but we wanted to just get back on the Wild Atlantic Way. Mm. We um, we found this beautiful spot in Spiddle. Um, you can see the sea behind us. Um, so we had a lovely night parked up down here on mm. the coast, and the beautiful. weather again is amazing. Amazing. And today is going to be hot. The it weather is. forecast today is hot. You see, we've actually got a theory that I think the Irish, they, they tell everybody the weather's bad because they don't want too many tourists to yeah. spoil their natural beauty. So it is glorious. I think glorious. rather than going to Southern Europe to the Med, maybe you should just come to Ireland because the weather's just as good. And Dad, you would absolutely love here because there are dinghies, boats. We're in a little harbour. Let's do a little shuffle. Let's do a little... Although the sun's behind us, so mate. That's all there right. There you go. So yeah, so we're heading up um, north to Lean, Linan, because we had the mad idea to try a seaweed bath. Yes, and you did. We're still under discussion on who's going in the bath, but um, <laughs> when in Ireland. going in the seaweed bath. Yep. And if it's hungry, you have to have a shower in I'm not sure house. what Marianne's film footage is going to be like. We'll find out. <laughs> but if you come out hungry, you have to use my nice flowery shampoo to freshen up. Because our bed's very small. And it's supposed to be very good for you. It can be good for you, but if you're smelly... I was reading their website and it says you can use the seaweed as a pillow as well to make yourself more comfortable and then apparently afterwards you get plunged into a cold <laughs> into a cold bath i'm not sure about the cold bath bit but i'm happy to do the hot bit <laughs> i like the sea so it's fine
the uh, the driveway up to Linan, um, up the R. Where are we? The R336 is an absolutely stunning road. There's mountains, there's rivers, there's lakes. There's waterfalls, there's swans. Yeah, there's horses and foals. It's it's got it all going on. So if you're looking for a scenic road, it's off actually off the Wild Atlantic Way. We're cutting across up because we're going to do the Wild Atlantic Way south after we get to Linan. But this road um, inland, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So we've arrived in Linan and what a beautiful village or town by the water. So you can see the Connemara seaweed baths behind me and it looks like I'm the one that's volunteered to have the bath and Marianne's going to do the filming. But what an awesome experience. Um, so we've heard that it's a really good detox, really nice, good for you. So we're going to go in and give it a go. Soak. And Chris is taking his clothes off. Yeah, woo woo! Um, so they've got um, <laughs> they've got a very. I just dropped a towel in the bath. It'll be all right. Um, they've got a bath full of seaweed. There we go. With a towel so that you can rest your head, and that's the towel that Chris just dropped. But we won't tell anyone. She said that it's hot water in there at the moment, which will make the seaweed turn a bit jellyfied. And then he's got to go and have a soak in the steam room, which is just outside. And then for 10 minutes, for 10 minutes, and 10 then minutes, 10 minutes in the steam, half an hour in the bath. And then you pull a string, the string above there, you pull this string and it turns into a cold shower, which apparently will make me scream. I'll film that. You can smell the seaweed, yeah. but it's not really overpowering. So let's go into the steam room. Steam room. Bye. So yeah, there's the steam room. And it's just a couple of walk, a couple of footsteps away from his room, which is here. Look at that view though. It's got tinted glass, so people from outside can't see in. But it just means that when you're in the bar, You've got that nice view. Look at that. Stunning. So I've just come out of the steam room and I'm all hot now. You are, I can feel it. Feel the heat. So we're going to add some cold water to the seaweed bath before we get in because they put just hot water in to help extract everything from the seaweed. When you say we get in, it's you. Okay. This is very comfy. It feels very weird to be covered in seaweed. Why did you make me do this? <laughs> anyway, you have a lovely view over the lake. Um, actually, it's not a lake, it's a bay. And, um, it's actually on the this, West Atlantic Way, isn't it? It is. And this, um, this particular seaweed bath is claims to be one of the only ones, or the only one that has freshly pumped in salt water as opposed to normal tap water. I haven't tasted it to test, um, and I don't intend to, but I trust them. And it smells like I'm in a rock pool. Yes, it does. And this is one of the uh, the main beauty treatments of, um, uh, of Ireland. 
and uh, they do lots of seaweed things, they do seaweed massages, seaweed racks and everything, but I thought a bath would be quite nice, because I like baths and I can't have a bath in the van. So um, I thought I'd have a new experience. <laughs> it's very new. Chris is inside the seaweed baths and um, he's having a nice relaxing time, so I've just come outside to have a little wander because it's absolutely stunning here. Um, everywhere we've gone in Ireland has been magnificent but there's such a sense of tranquility here as she says as the car drives past but everybody's been so friendly and so lovely um, and we just feel like uh, we've sort of come home in a way I know that sounds bizarre but because we've been sort of accepted and, and brought into so many people's homes, fed, watered, bubble baths, um, washing, just everything. Everybody's been so lovely. But this part of the Wild Atlantic Way is the tranquil part. County Donegal was like the massively Jurassic, dramatic, um, crashing waves, beautiful cliffs. Um, and then now we've come to this beautiful inland sea pool that is still part of the Wild Atlantic Way, but it's just absolutely just lovely and tranquil. And I'm not even sure if that's the seaweed that Chris has got. The seaweed that you get for the baths, is it this stuff here? That's it's way down by the boats. That's the stuff we throw back out again. Oh, is it? Yeah. Fantastic. So yeah, they actually collect their seaweed. Um, out by boat out here somewhere and all the seaweed here is the stuff that's being returned to the sea afterwards so um, what comes from the sea goes back into the sea so it's very relaxing this part and uh, as I'm lying here watching the view and listening to the recordings of the ocean seagulls I've started popping the seaweed it's a bit like um, you know when you've got bubble wrap and it's and it's really therapeutic. Well, the seaweed actually <laughs> pops because of all these little air pockets they've got. It pops in the same way. They don't all pop, but some of them do, and it's quite relaxing. So apparently, this is like the ice bucket challenge. So it I've, is. I've had a nice hot bath, and I'm supposed to pull this now. And if I don't fall out the bath, I'll jump. Oh, Jesus! 20 years younger. 